Hey, this is David Richter Scale Studios. Another video. This time, I have a new toy. Um, I got a Raspberry Pi, and I put Octoprint on it. So now I can uh, control my printer and videotape and monitor videotape video and monitor my prints. Right now, I'm just doing a setting uh, with the camera right here. This is a Log older Logitech 270 camera. I'm using a very low resolution just to get uh, fast uh, results with it. And I will put a link to Thingiverse where I got this camera mount. So basically the only thing left of the camera is the body and the cord. Everything else, the face plate, everything's changed out. I unlocked the focus ring on the uh, lens and uh, used the printed um, focus wheel now. So that's completely changeable and you will get a crisper picture. And this is an old train piece, actually a 3D print piece I did many years ago on the old uh, printer bot Metal Plus, which is still sitting there waiting to be fixed. Uh, try to get this all focused in and centered. And I'll show you what we're going to be doing. Excuse the uh, movement. And I'm going to be doing these printers also. This is my new Prusa Mark III. Uh, I already got a camera for that, printed that out. And then for the Anycubic, I'm waiting for a camera should be here in two days and got an extra long uh, gooseneck uh, camera holder ready to go. I just got all the parts are ready to go, just pop it in. I made it taller so it can get on this uh, higher bed and I should have two Raspberry Pis here tomorrow so I can get those all programmed. Very easy to do. I'll put some links to other uh, sites that help you do it. Uh, one thing I did notice, uh, even some of these uh, videos that are maybe a few to six months old are some things are out of date. Uh, I can't change the video resolution anymore through PuTTY. That's, I know that sounds weird, but if you watch those videos, you understand these different programs you need to uh, flash the micro SD for your uh, Raspberry Pi to run Octoprint. So this is the print we're gonna do. Uh, this is from Terrain for Print, Marcus Cruz. Uh, I believe it's from the CD, CG Trader site I bought uh, months ago. I'm just gonna do a quick one. This is a radar dish with a little base and there's another thing that comes with it, but I just wanna do something really quick that will only take maybe uh, less than an hour to print out so I can do the uh, time-lapse video with it. And let me get off of that. And then that's my Octoprint on my um, laptop. And there's the piece, so that's where it's be focusing. You can see it's pretty crisp, even through my iPhone into the computer. And then uh, above this photo right now, I will uh, click a picture from my Octo server. I will write it down what the uh, app is on my iPhone. I can control it and watch it from my iPhone too in my home. I'm still learning how to get it from out of my house so I can watch and go out to dinner or go have a cocktail and make sure my house is not burning down and my printers are all running okay. And I'll put do another uh, video on that in, in the future. It was like a uh, free app. I added another three bucks to it so I can put as many printers on it as I want. So it's pretty cool. So um, I'll be back. I'm going to start the print over there. We'll come back and see this. And then after that, I will do a time lapse. And after the time lapse, come back and discuss it. And that'll be the end of the video. As usual, thank you for joining me. So we're back. We are starting the print. Looks like we've got the first few layers going. I think the uh, cooling fan's spinning. I put a Space Marine down, old school sergeant I painted a long time ago next to it. So it's going to be a pretty decent sized piece of terrain. Looks like I have enough filament to finish it. And I'm going to go to the computer and also show you a picture of OctoClient. So on my iPhone, I can do everything uh, through OctoPrint on the Raspberry Pi as I can do on my laptop. I can upload video or STL files, or not STL. I guess I can do STL files. There is a slicer built into Raspberry Pi. But I love Simplify 3D, so I just uh, slice it, save it, then uh, send the G-code straight to uh, the Raspberry Pi over my Wi-Fi in my house. So there's no more shuffling around SD cards or anything. Pretty cool. And we'll be back in a second. Okay. So we're at the laptop now. This is what I can see. I have another laptop downstairs that I can log in. It's just going through uh, my Wi-Fi uh, with a simple password, and I can control this. And like I said, I can uh, upload files wherever I slice them. I have Simplify 3D, so I have it on my both of my laptops. So I can either be up here in the studio or if I find something cool while I'm uh, downstairs hanging out, I can uh, 
slice it down there and send it up to the printer that way also. And right next to this, I will show a image of what you see on OctoClient. That's on my iOS, Apple. Uh, like I said, you could um, pay three bucks to it. It's a great little app so far and add as many printers as you want to it. I know some people have multiple printers. I have right now three operational ones and the fourth and I'd like to build one from scratch, maybe like an Anet A8, something that costs like under 200 bucks and trick it out myself would be kind of uh, rewarding, but that's beside the point. So uh, when I leave you here, I'm gonna play a small time lapse. I know those are probably uh, passe by now, but kind of cool when I just started playing with it and then come back after that and discuss it. I appreciate you joining me and see you in a second. Hi, we're back. I hope you enjoyed the time-lapse photography of the radar dish being printed. A little bit better than watching paint dry. Uh, so this is it. I printed it. It looks pretty good. A little bit of uh, nibs or zits on the uh, facade of the um, radar dish. I put out another uh, Space Marine Sergeant I did a while ago, and I did her. She's from Infinity Hawk Islam Kum Enforcer. Just to give you a scale of this thing. So it is pretty substantial. Uh, look good on any table. Infinity, uh, 40K, um, Necromunda, and Shadow War Armageddon, which I'm kind of getting into. I like the skirmish level game, and of course, Infinity I like. So this is a nice piece, and I love being able just to check on the print every so often, not have to run up and down the stairs to my studio and check on things. So I just uh, I actually just pick up my phone mostly or have the laptop in my uh, kitchen on and just kind of glance over it and make sure uh, motors are running and looks like something's uh, growing slowly. So uh, that was a fun little thing to try out. I will be uh, this weekend, so this is what, Friday night? You'll probably be seeing this Saturday. Um, putting the Raspberry Pis together for the other two printers and getting those all uh, set up. And then I want to figure a way to be able to monitor these when I leave the house. There's a bunch of videos on how to do it but um, that'll take a while for me to figure that out. Been away from the technology for a long time. But uh, that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. And once again, this is from, uh, the print is a radar dish. I can't remember what, uh, it was from a size five fortress. CD Trader, Marcus Cruz, terrain for print. Uh, try to support him. I, I support him on um, Patreon. He just puts out a ton of stuff. He put a bunch of Star Wars stuff. On his Thingiverse for Train for Print, uh, there is all kinds of desert buildings, anything for uh, uh, Star Wars Legion, and he has some really cool stuff I'm using for Necromunda, some control, like little computer things, and these little like robots that look like something that you'd make cars, or, <clears throat> excuse me, these robots that look like they're manufacturing robots, so they're really cool in any kind of uh, sci-fi or even modern day setting, you can put them in a factory or something like that. So uh, check him out. And that is it. And also, the I've had a couple of people ask me about the PLA. Uh, that is eSun Gray PLS Plus. It's my new favorite uh, filament to work with because it looks like a model when it comes out. And also, when you print it and show it on uh, camera, it shows all the detail. It's not like too black or too bright. And it'll take primer really easily. And that is it. I will see you in the next video. Thanks again.